How's it going, guys? I'm over here in Atherton, California. So it's Silicon Valley. This is uh, the town where all the tech CEOs live. <clears throat> it's the wealthiest town in America. Anyway, been out here for six weeks doing a job, a finishing job on this house. It's a 10,000 square foot mansion. It's got a guest house. Really nice pool area. Huge lot. So anyway, I just wanted to do a job wrap up, show you what I did. So I pressure washed the uh, chaise lounges. This, that was just like an extra that I added on. And the wife actually did all the teak oil herself. She, I showed her how to do it and she was having fun. She liked doing it. So the reason the guy flew me out here was because I did work at, he has another house in uh, Newport, Rhode Island. It's like 30 minutes from my house in Massachusetts. This gate right here, it's two years old. All the stain had like just faded out and looked terrible. So he wanted to get the gates done again. So I sanded the gates down, and then I used the Sanson Enviro stain. Good stuff. I never used it before, but he was really happy with the results, so was I. And then he wanted the uh, garage doors done. So, again, I sanded these down to bare wood. I used the Sanson Enviro stain. We tried using the one that we used on the gates because we wanted everything to match. But the uh, garage doors are in the shade all day, so... The stain looked too dark. I had just done half of this door here. We ended up stripping that off. And then we cut the um, we cut the stain formula down from a gallon formula to a quart. And then we had him add that to a, a gallon. And it lightened up the stain the way he wanted it. So it's, this, it's almost the same exact stain, just a little lighter. But it looks the same because it's in the shade all day. Kind of. It was tricky with this stain and getting all the colors to match. So this is the second set of gates to the property. Same thing, I sanded these down. Instead of using the full formula, we used the, um, the quart formula and a gallon on these. Actually, I used one coat of the uh, full formula, one coat of the reduced formula. Because when I did this door, I put two coats on it, it looked black. Because this is in the shade most of the day too. Uh, nice. So over here, this was another add-on. I noticed all the uh, stucco beyond, b below this window here. It was all uh, peeling off and crumbling. So I ended up taking all that off. And then I, I patched this up. I took like four patches. I used um, the marble finish, uh, the marble finish stucco. And then I put some other perma patch over that and then painted it, uh, primed it and painted it. So they were happy with this. And then I just painted this whole side right up to the peak here. And this was like the main reason he wanted me to come out here was this front door. It hadn't been touched in the, since the house was built 13 years ago. So I ended up stripping this down the bare wood. We were having a real tough time matching the stain that he wanted. So I finally found one he really liked. I did one door. He was like, oh, it looks great. He gave me a fist bump. And then he uh, came home that night and he says, oh, drive way too dark. Well, guess what? I had to sand everything down again to bare wood. It took me uh, four and a half days to get this cleaned up really good. And then we ended up uh, using the stain that he that said was too dark. I cut it down with some mineral spirits, and it's a wiping stain. Oh, I used a conditioner on the door, and then I put the stain on little sections at a time, and then wiped it off, and then I used a wood coat UV 450. It's a matte finish sealer, and I did three coats of that, soil base. It's good stuff. And, you know, I cleaned the windows. And then I painted the uh, threshold black, just to freshen that up. <clears throat> and then to really make the door pop, I just painted that white around the door. And then down here, they have a little fire pit and a little sitting area. He asked me to paint around the fireplace. As soon as I get down, I'll show you. So I painted the white around the fireplace. 
and then I did the wall behind it. And then someone had come and done a stucco patch here, real crappy job. Uh, I did a couple of coats over that, smoothed it out, primed it, painted it. And uh, down here they have their uh, wine cellar. So I did, he had some water stains on the wood. They just asked me to sand it. Some stuff getting them out. They really didn't come all the way out. But they did the best they could, just cleaned it up. Maybe uh, get to that again in the future. Uh, and uh, he's happy with my work. He asked me to come back out here in the fall. I'm gonna do all the white, paint the whole house. That's the guest house. That's where I was staying while I was here. The other job in the fall that he really wanted to get done is all this wrought iron, all the railings, the railings up top here. Uh, they just need to be prepped up, and I'll probably end up spraying them. So he wanted to have like a nice finish on them, so I suggested spraying them. Maybe uh, use an HLVP sprayer. Uh, and then they had the roof wash yesterday. Guy uh, Pacific Exterior, real nice kid, did a great job, real hard worker. So uh, he's gonna have him come back, pressure wash this whole patio, pressure wash the house. This way, when I come back, I don't have to worry about any pressure wash, and I can just start painting. This is going to be a big job. Be here. I was here this time for uh, six weeks. Uh, imagine it'll take about as long as the next job, too. So, anyway. So, that's the job over here in Atherton, California. Uh, it's nice yesterday I got paid. Gave him the bill. He's like, oh, no, I'm going to give you more than that. So, he ended up giving me a nice bonus. I told him it wasn't necessary, but I'm yeah, not going to turn down money either. He's just real happy with the work, and you know I worked really hard. I tried to change the stain a few times, re-sand it, so it was, that was uh, pretty cool of him. So. And then he offered me that job in the fall, so and uh, he's got a house in Newport too, so he said he's got some work there. So. These guys, they'll keep me busy. Yeah. Anyway, you know, do a good job, work hard. You know, you make a mistake, fix it, and uh, customers really appreciate it, so keep you busy. All right, guys, hope everyone has a good day, and uh, we'll see you in the fall out here in Atherton, California. Remember to like, share, follow, subscribe, I mean, I'm on every platform, though, so it's hard to remember. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, you know. I'm always getting cool jobs like this. Two years ago, I was down in uh, Florida, did a 10,000 square foot mansion down there. Uh, never know what's going to come up. Anyway, everyone have a good day. Thanks.